What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. Today we're taking a look at Atomic Art, a tame via Game Pass. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's start off how we always do. Let's go ahead and install the game. And I'm installing my B drive because NVMe. And just like always, I play this game a little bit on my own. Hits the shorts with all the mods on them. I do have existing saves. However, I uninstall the game and reinstall the game just to clean up as much as possible to allow the mods to be kind of fresh, kind of similar to how you guys are going to go through it. Anyways, I'll talk to you once this download's done. All right, now that we've got that downloaded, let's go ahead and kick the game off. Confirm we're still in vanilla state. That is basically all the robots have mustaches and the two twins are fully robotic. Kind of like that image right there. I think I've got two saves available to actually be able to just show what we need. Uh, I was hoping. Looks like I actually deleted some of them. That's right. We'll just do new game and skip a little bit. Pistachio bot should be very visible right off the start. This should provide a way to skip the tutorial. That'd be a nice mod. Alright, as you can see, we've got the basic mustachio robot still, so definitely no Demi bots. As you see, bots are normal. So, game, completely vanilla state. None of the mods that I was using as far as those shorts go are present. Now let's go ahead as soon as I can get out of this thing and get to work. All right, perfect. So first up, we're gonna just go down to manage, files, and browse. Once we're off this folder location, we're gonna go ahead and go into Atomic Hearts, content, Atomic Heart again, content again, a little redundant. Atomic, content, atomic, content, got it? Good, packs. And we're going to actually create a new folder in here called Hilda. Thoughts. And all of our mod folders are going to go inside of this. As far as mods we're using, we're going to be using the Demi Perb Bot by Skull198, and the Totten Swimsuit Twins by Damage Ball. Pretty simple, they both actually have instructions as far as this piece goes. Just download and extract in the mods folder, create the mods folder if it doesn't exist. Same deal, download and extract the mods folder. Actually, choose the color from the optional file, blah, blah, blah. Team, right click on the game, doesn't matter. Go to content packs, put all folders inside the packs and remove the pack to uninstall. So, got the mods folder, I'm gonna open that up. And I've already downloaded both the mods, so let's go out to my downloads. So Demi Pervbot comes in a RAR. 
Tatan's zip. So I grabbed the wrong Tatan. If I installed that one, I would have to edit this a lot more. Let me download the correct Tatan real quick. And while that downloads, I'm going to go ahead and uh, extract the right files for these ones here. So we're just going to extract these RARs into this folder location. Same deal. Extract files. There we go. And now we have the normal pattern. Go ahead and extract this blue file real quick. If we go into this, it should just be how to and the pack. Come into blue. How to in the pack. So we're not actually going to bother with any of that piece. We're just going to click and drag this folder here right there. And then we're going to do the same with the actual base spot. Then lastly, we're going to come into patents. This one. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just extract files. then we're going to just drag this one over. I'm going to just rename this to just Hatton. And that should be all it takes to mod the game. Pretty straightforward. We just got to create that mods folder inside of packs and then just add our folders in here. All these should have a pack inside of them. Jimmy modder provided a how to, but it's pretty straightforward. Now we're going to close out of this, close out of that and go ahead and launch the game again. If this worked, we should no longer have the Mustachio robot, nor should we have the Tatans in their the Tatans. Nor should we have the twins in their silver outfits anymore. They should be you know, more of a flannel swimsuit. Celtic swimsuit? I don't know. Take your pick as far as word go. Regardless, it should be a one suit swimsuit. One Z swimsuit. One piece swimsuit. see if we got lucky and have an auto save from that previous one game oh we do I think uh dates right super world with any luck this should actually let us just see the bots real quick and then we just need to validate the Voila. So, Patton bots definitely have a different look. Got a red swimsuit on them, onesie as far as that goes, versus their old metallic look. So, mod number one success. Let's go back to main menu and pick another random save I've got here that should have some bots I was killing. Uh, let's go to. Let's try this one out. Maybe this is the one where I can actually see some bots. My current playthrough, I got just far enough where I'm no longer fighting bots. I'm now fighting these. Ah, this is bots. And let's see what we got here. And there is our Dimmy bots. However, they're blue, and I thought I downloaded red. Go ahead and extract this blue file real quick. So, we've got both those mods installed. Let's actually go check out the how-to real fast and see what we missed as far as the Dimmy bots coloring. So atomic Hearts content, Atomic Hearts content, packs and mods, and oh, no, I did do blue. How did I do blue? I thought I did red. I think we can't change that to red real quick. Go download. 
go and delete blue right here. By the way, it seems as far as these extra packs go that it's very, your saves don't seem like they get majorly affected by them. Seems like you can still load the game just fine having the packs on versus not having the packs on, at least for these particular. We deleted blue, we now have red available. Let's go ahead and just seven zip, track files, downloads. Same deal as before, we're just gonna copy the red one here. And launch the game, and we should have a different Dimmy bot now. And now they're red. I call that a success. Anyways, this was Catch Band, and that is how you mod Atomic Hearts from Game Pass. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.